Welcome to The Power Up. Today I am talking about the power of a tribe. A tribe is like your group, your people. People that you can relate to. You know, they just kind of get you. It's so powerful to be part of a tribe, especially when you're working towards goals. You, know, you need people around you that get you. The ones that can help you achieve your goals and you'll help them achieve their goals. And they'll just be there for you and you'll be there for them. You just get so much support when you have a group of like-minded people around you. You know, when you have a tribe, you can turn to them when things don't go as expected. And quite often that happens, right? And they'll be there for you. You have someone that you know is gonna listen and care. They support you. I have such a great tribe. You know, they help me so much in this area. I have ladies that I can just send a quick text out to. Usually it sounds something like this. Ah, oh, having a terrible day, pray for me. And you know what, almost like immediately, I will get back uh, encouraging, supportive responses, um, and just knowing that you know, they have my back and, and that they are supporting me, even just that is a huge boost and it's very powerful. Another thing that makes a good tribe so powerful is that they challenge you. Of course, in a good and encouraging way, and yes, I have learned this personally. You've probably heard me say before that Desiree, my friend and fellow health coach with Whole Body Nutrition, has gotten me into running. Well, she has encouraged me to join her for a couple races this summer. That is something I would have never done on my own if I didn't have someone challenging and encouraging me to do it. But because of her support and her challenging me to do it, now I've been able to do it. And it's been great because normally over the summer, I don't do a lot of extra exercise, just basically what we do in our everyday lives, bike rides, that kind of thing, walks, that sort of thing. But because I've known that I've had these races coming up this summer, um, I absolutely have made sure to hit the road because I want to be able to do them with her. So she has challenged me in this area. And because we're part of the same tribe, it's awesome. She can speak into my life like that and encourage me and, and challenge me to do something that I've never done before. The third thing that makes a tribe so powerful is what you can learn from them. And as you may know, I'm writing a recipe book. Well, I have a friend that has written an award-winning book. And I hadn't seen her for a while, but you can guess who was the first person I reached out to when I decided to write a recipe book. Of course, her. And you know what, I know her well enough to know that she is the kind of person that is going to give me the knowledge that I need. She's gonna help me and encourage me in any way that she can. And that is exactly what she did. And she was so helpful and just had so much wisdom on, on writing a book, obviously, because she's done it. And it was incredible the things that I learned from her, things that I would have never ever thought of. You know, I believe that God brings people into our lives for a reason. But to find your tribe, you may need to be open to new people and experiences. You may need to talk to people that you don't know or welcome someone into your new little group. Be sure to build up a tribe that is going to encourage you and that you're gonna be able to encourage them. And build up a tribe of individuals that are gonna go for goals, people that are, are striving and working towards reaching goals, just like you are, so that you can encourage each other and support each other and share your wisdom with each other because there is so much power in a tribe. Thanks for watching. Have a great week.